today there are those that are attempting, yes, to come back into a solid way of thinking, something that is dense, something that is known, something that feels safe and secure. And then there are others beginning to explore the outer reaches, just beyond the boundary, just across that threshold. And they are uncertain, they are tenuous as to their next step. And to some degree, they are still taking their direction from those inside the box. Yes, remotely, even as this exercises. Go a little further, yes, a little further now. And as they begin to explore more and experiment more, you will see that there will come almost a division inside, outside, this group, that group. Old paradigm, new paradigm. So as much as you will think of what is the new paradigm, when is it coming, where does it emerge from, what will it look like, it is already beginning to look like something. Now look about the earth and you will always have your confirmations. You will always have confirmation of the earth and its kingdoms. Look and see, as I have said, there is earth coming up from underground. Now you will see soon that there is other confirmation to come from the stars, more of what you would call material from falling stars, new material from inside the earth pushing upward, new material from the further reaches coming down to the earth. This to say something new, a new material, a new use for the material, a new way to look at life, and each one will be as a gift to those that will see it as a gift. Now to those that would be excited by the moment, so be it. There will be more of these. There will be more eruptions of the earth. There will be more movements of the earth. There will be movements of the glaciers. There will be movements of the oceans. And there will be movements of the earth. All of the elements now are now engaged in making, in manifesting a new world, a new energy, new elements for you, humanity, to implement and to use. And at the same time, you will see the decline in some. You will see decline in numbers of some populations. You will see that others increase. And all things will seem to be a little bit topsy-turvy, a little bit out of balance. But no, but no, it is falling into balance. But it is a new balance. It is a new understanding. It is a greater truth. It is a greater unfoldment. So as you explore your days and do explore them. Make of each day as an adventure. Notice what is a smaller truth, a lower truth, one that might possibly move into the background of your experience. What is a newer truth? What is it that you would like to encourage in your time? What would you coax forward? And notice how all of the elements of the earth are in assistance to this. Now they are all participating in the same grandness that you are. And you will begin to make use of it, make use of the new material, make use of the new thought, experiment with it, explore, and you will see again that whether it is outside the box or inside will come a greater and newer understanding. With this understanding will come more than likely a higher truth. A higher truth is not the same as wisdom. It is becoming. A higher truth is that which reveals itself. It is new material that invites itself to assist you. Something that you can draw upon. You can call it a tool. You can call it the news item of the day. But I tell you, do take note of this. For to let it sit by the wayside would not be in compliment with you. Better it is to take it, see what it is, encourage it to come forward, be the adventurer that you have come to desire yourself to be. It is what brought you here to begin with. And it is with these eyes that you originally saw the earth. It is with that heart that you originally felt the passions for how you would unfold yourself, whether in this life or other life. Let those passions once again take hold. Let that creativity once again come forward. Nurture it when you see it in a moment. Coax it forward if it seems just out of reach. You will see and you will take delight in the earth that is now forming as you are its stewards, 
I am grateful for this opportunity to share myself with you as always, looking forward to the very next one, my heart belonging to yours and yours mine. So be it. It is done.